Pick and Paper class. How are you doing? Hello dear boys, welcome back to English Second Paper class. How are you doing? I hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty. This is Simi Danko, lecturer in English, St. Gregory's High School and College. Dear boys, in our previous lectures, we have been discussing about transformation of sentences. We have discussed already so many rules about changing sentences from affirmative to negative, negative to affirmative, and as the last topic, we have been discussing about changing sentences from affirmative to interrogative. And in our last lesson, we have been discussing part one of this lesson. Today, we will focus on changing sentences from affirmative or assertive sentence to interrogative so dear boys now let's move to our lesson in our last lecture we have been discussing about the rules of changing sentences from affirmative to interrogative and we have already discussed up to rule number five and today we will start our discussion from rule number six. Dear boys, look at to this point in rule number six. What do we have in rule number six? So, if you have to be auxiliary verb, to be verb or to be auxiliary verb in our affirmative sentence or assertive sentence, then how to change this sentence from affirmative to interrogative dear boys firstly what we need to do we have to write down the auxiliary verb first to be verb first and after that we have to write down not or short form of not okay then we have to write down the subject and after that extension and then note of interrogation here you can see the structure of writing sentences while changing from affirmative to interrogative having to be verb in our affirmative sentence. So dear boys, suppose here we have an example. Suppose you have a, an assertive sentence like Sanu is a good student. Sanu is a good student. So how to change this sentence? Firstly, we have to write down the auxiliary verb at the very beginning of the sentence. So we are going to write down is first. Okay. So we are writing down isn't Shanu a good student or is Shanu not a good student? student isn't Shanu a good student right so here we have another example look at to this example dear boys mrs. Rina is a dutiful lady mrs. Rina is a dutiful lady okay so we are going to write down auxiliary verb first okay so here you see isn't Mrs. Rina a dutiful lady? Isn't Mrs. Rina a dutiful lady? Okay. So the next one. Leah is going to Chittagong. Leah is going to Chittagong. So the answer is, isn't Leah going to Chittagong? Isn't Leah going to Chittagong? So dear boys, if you want, then you can just check out the structure with the sentences. Okay, so now it's your turn. Okay, here we have an example. He is a lawyer and this is an assertive sentence, affirmative sentence. So now what you need to do, pause the video for a while. And think by yourself and try to do it and try to write down the answer.
Okay, dear boys, I hope you have written the correct answer. So now you can check the answer with my answer. So the answer is, isn't he a lawyer? Isn't he a lawyer? Right. Now let's move to the second part. Okay. If the given sentence is negative assertive, if the given sentence is negative assertive, to change this kind of sentence, eliminate negative particle and use auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence. So dear boys, this rule says if you have negative assertive sentence as the example, then what to do? How to change the sentence from affirmative or negative to interrogative? So what you need to do? Firstly, you have to remove the negative particle. That means you have to remove not. Okay? Then you have to write down the auxiliary verb first as the previous structure we will write down. So let's see the example here. Okay? Say the lady was not fair. The lady was not fair. So the answer is was the lady fair? Was the lady fair? Here negative particle indicates to the negative word. So the negative word in this sentence, the lady was not fair, is not. That's why while writing interrogative sentence, we have removed the negative particle. That means we have removed not from our question. Okay, so we have written, was the lady fair? Next one, Rupa is not a journalist. Rupa is not a journalist. So... What is the correct answer? The answer is, is Rupa a journalist? Is Rupa a journalist? Okay. So now it's your turn. So here we have, Leah is not an ugly girl. Okay. Now pause the video, think for a while and try to write down the answer. Then play the video again and check the answer. So dear students, the answer is, is Leah an ugly girl? Is Leah an ugly girl? Right. So, what do we have in rule number seven? When we want to change a sentence from affirmative to interrogative without auxiliary verb. Suppose we have a sentence which is without auxiliary verb. That means auxiliary verb is not present in that sentence. Then how to change this type of sentence from affirmative to interrogative or assertive to interrogative. So dear boys, firstly, you are instructed to write down don't or doesn't or didn't according to the subject and tense. You are instructed to write down, firstly, you have to write down don't, doesn't, or didn't according to the subject and tense. Okay, let's see the structure. So, the structure is don't, doesn't, or didn't according to the tense. And after that, you have to write down the subject. And then, principal verb, present form of principal verb, and then, the extension or rest of the sentence and then note of interrogation will be given. So dear boys, look at to this sentence. My mother loves me. My mother loves me. Okay, so what to do? Do we have any auxiliary verb in this sentence? No. Okay, and let's see in which tense the sentence is written. So, 
the sentence is written in present indefinite tense. In present indefinite tense, we usually use does not or uh, do not. The auxiliary verb does not or do not. Okay, to make the sentence interrog interrogative or negative. So, dear boys, so now let's see what type of subject do we have here. So, firstly, we have the subject. The subject is third person singular number. Okay, my mother is third person singular number. So, for third person singular number, we usually use the auxiliary verb does. So we are going to use does here. So the answer will be, doesn't my mother love me? Doesn't my mother love me? Now let's check the structure as is it maintained, as it is maintained properly in our sentence. Okay, you see, firstly we have written doesn't and according to the structure we have to write down the subject so our subject is my mother and then principal verb our principal verb is love so here we have written love present form of principal verb okay love and then we have the rest we have to write down the rest of the sentences okay so we have only me here so doesn't my mother love me? So dear boys, note of interrogation is given. Right. So here we have another example. He helped the poor. He helped the poor. Okay. So how to write down the answer? Okay. The answer is, didn't he help the poor? Didn't he help the poor? Right. Okay. So here we have some more examples okay say he reads in this school he reads in this school so this is also written in present indefinite tense so I have already mentioned that in present indefinite tense we have to use the auxiliary verb do or does according to the subject or tense okay so here we have our subject he he is the subject here so he is third person singular number we all know that that's why we have to use does right so we are going to use does here so we will write down doesn't he read in this school doesn't he read in this school okay so here we have another example he acted wisely he acted wisely. So, dear boys, the sentence is written in past indefinite tense. Past indefinite tense. So, for past indefinite tense, we use the auxiliary verb did to make the sentence negative or interrogative. So, now we are going to write down, didn't he act wisely? Didn't he act wisely? So the next one, he supported me strongly. He supported me strongly. Okay. Didn't he support me strongly? Didn't he support me strongly? Okay. Dear boys, now it's your turn. Okay. They behaved politely with us. They behaved politely with us okay so you know what you need to do now firstly pause the video for a while think by yourself try to write down the answer then play the video again and check the answer Okay. Okay, look at to the answer. The answer is didn't the didn't they behave politely with us? Didn't they behave politely with us? Right. So the next rule 
Now let's move to the next rule. Okay. If you have never in assertive sentence, what you need to do, you have to write down ever instead of never while changing sentences from affirmative to negative or from affirmative to interrogative. If you have never in your affirmative sentence, then you have to change the word into ever. Okay, this is very common and maybe I have discussed this rule in our previous lesson. Okay, now just revise it. Okay, the first example. He never tells a lie. Look at to this example. He never tells a lie. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to place or we are going to write ever instead of never. Okay, so the answer is, does he ever tell a lie? Does he ever tell a lie? Okay, suppose you have this type of sentence in your exercise. Say, they had nothing to do. They had nothing to do. Now, how to write down the answer? Had they anything to do? Had they anything to do? Why are we writing this type of answer? So, here you see the sentence is, they had nothing to do. They had nothing to do. So, had is auxiliary verb here. So, according to the structure of interrogative sentence, we are going to write down the auxiliary verb first at the very beginning of the sentence. That's why we have written had at the very beginning of the sentence. So, the answer is, had they anything to do? Had they anything to do? So, rule number nine, if there's never in assertive sentence, it changes to ever. Sorry, dear boys. Uh, these are almost similar. So, here you have some more example of changing sentences if we have never in our affirmative sentence while changing the sentence into uh, interrogative, then we have to write down ever instead of Never. Okay? So here you have some more examples. He will never come here. He will never come here. He will ever come here. He will ever come here. An honest man never tells a lie. An honest man never tells a lie. So, the answer is, does an honest man ever tell a lie? Does an honest man ever tell a lie? Okay. So, now you try. You have never seen it before. You have never seen it before. Okay? Like the previous example. Firstly, Pause the video for a while, try to write down the answer, and after that, play the video again and check the answer. So the interrogative form of the sentence, you have never seen it before, is, have you ever seen it before? Have you ever seen it before? So rule number 10, if there's nothing in affirmative sentence, use anything while writing down the interrogative form of the sentence. While changing the sentence from affirmative to negative, having nothing, then use anything, use anything, use anything to make interrogative. Okay, so you, here you have some other example. Here you have some other example. 
There is nothing on the table. There is nothing on the table. Okay, the answer is, is there anything on the table? Is there anything on the table? I know nothing about it. I know nothing about it. Okay. Do I know anything about it? Do I know anything about it? Okay. Suppose you have, he said nothing. He said nothing. Okay. Did he say anything? Did he say anything? Okay. Now you try. They had nothing to do. They had nothing to do. Okay. The answer is, had they anything to do? Had they anything to do? Okay. The last one, number 11. If there is all or everyone or everybody in affirmative sentence, follow this structure. So what is the structure? Who plus auxiliary verb, then use not, and after that write down the principal verb, present form of the principal verb, and then extension, then give note of interrogation. Okay? Check the example. Everyone likes flower. Everyone likes flower. Who doesn't like flower? Who doesn't like flower? Everyone must die. Everyone must die. Who will not die? Who will not die? Okay. Everybody has some needs. Everybody has some needs. Who has no needs? So here you see, instead of some, we have used the word no. Okay. Who has no needs? All right. Everybody is greedy. Who is not greedy? Who is not greedy? Okay. So now it's your turn. Again, pause the video. Think for a while. Write down the answer. And then play the video again. And check the answers. All respect an honest man. All respect and honest men. So the answer is, who doesn't respect an honest man? Who doesn't respect an honest man? Here we have another example. Everyone came to me. Everyone came to me. The answer is, who didn't? Come to me. Who didn't come to me? So, so dear boys, this is the end of today's lesson. If you find any problem while watching this video as I'm providing this class in YouTube platform or online platform, maybe uh, some question will arise in your mind. Maybe you will find some difficulties while watching this video. Dear boys, feel free to ask me. Feel free to just elevate your confusion about the class. You can ask me in the comment box, post comment box or YouTube comment box or you have my WhatsApp number also and my email ID has been given for you all. So dear boys, you can ask me anywhere. I'll be there for you to solve your problem. So take care. Take care of your family members. Help your youngers in studies. Help your mother in cooking. And above all, concentrate in your studies. Take care. Thanks to you all.